Well, hey, y'all. Welcome back to Apron Strings. I sure am glad you're here. It's hot and humid and sunshine in Texas today where I'm at, and I'm thankful. And I just went out and watered my herbs in my garden a little bit, and mosquitoes just love my blood, and they just I'm just itching. And I put, you know, lavender helps, but it don't stop it completely when they just had a feast everywhere. I'd have to have a whole bottle of it. But anyway, I wanted to share with y'all one more recipe that I love for the hot summertime. It's quite a bit. And you freeze it, it's a salad. And uh, you freeze it till it's slushy, but of course you can freeze it and leave it in there several months. Just pull it out and when it's slushy, that's when you serve it. It's all fruit, it's so refreshing. And our family loves it. And every time I take it somewhere, everybody wants the recipe. So I'm going to be making a frozen fruit salad today, but it has no jello in it. It's just different. So I'm going to get all the ingredients over here on the butcher block. Let's see what all goes in it. And there's nothing to it. You just drain some of them, put some of them in juice and all, uh, use some frozen strawberries, get it all mixed up, bagged up in the freezer. And then I'll show y'all what it looks like when I bring it back out and um, have a helping of it. So y'all get on over to the butcher block. Get your eyes set right there where you can see what's going on. And if you'll get this ingredients and make this, your family's gonna love it any hot day of the summer, I promise. First thing that you have to do, you wanna bring three cups of water and one and a half cups of sugar up to a boil to be sure that it's diluted and dissolved. And then we're gonna uh, let this cool a little bit while we mix everything else up because you really want it to cool as much as it can because it's got to get real cold to freeze and get slushy. So I always like to whisk it real good and then put it on the burner so I'm, it's clear and I'm sure it's all married together real good and the two have become one. So let me get it on the stove and I'll get this warmed up. We don't have a big 4th of July plan. We're really lucky. Our neighbors do a big fireworks thing. So we can just do whatever we want to do at our house and then just look back there and we have a beautiful fireworks display. And of course they're going on all around us. But the folks down on past us build those big ones that explode real pretty. They haven't done any in a while. But uh, Jay and Shelly usually have a really good fireworks display and we like to watch it. So we're going to have some good food and then we'll enjoy what everybody in the neighborhood's doing to uh, be festive. So let me get this cleared up and I'm going to start gathering the things that go in the salad and we'll get it all mixed up and in the freezer. I don't know how much of this down here y'all can see. Let me, I'm just going to get my can opener out and while my water and sugar that I've brought to a boil is cooling, I'm going to get my cans open here to get ready. You need fruit cocktail, uh, sliced peaches, mandarin oranges, pineapple. And so I'm just getting all the cans open and some of them you drain and some of them you don't. And I'll get this done and that'll help me get it all together a little faster here in a minute. And I figured y'all might as well let me blab because I'm home by myself and it's lonesome. So when I'm doing a video, I have company. Is that done? It may be, but it sure does help. You're going to need, when I'm saying a large can, it's the 12 ounce can of frozen orange juice concentrate. And so, these, these large cans that the recipe will say large can, I think they say 20 ounces. And because I already had these large cans of fruit cocktail, and it's a 30 ounce can, or you can use two of the others, of course. So, anyway, and if you want to add more fruit to make it fruitier, do what you want to do. Make it your own. You can have frozen mangoes in it. Uh, you can put whatever kind of fruit in it that you want. And I'm going to tell you a good way to serve it that's pretty is to uh, get you a watermelon and cut it in half and scoop out the melon. And you could freeze some of the melon balls to add in if you wanted to. But scoop it out and get that really, really cold, real cold. And then zigzag the edge of it. You know, make V cuts where it looks sawtoothed on the top and pour your salad in there to serve it. It's pretty like that. 
I do that a lot and I'll add fresh strawberries, fresh grapes, um, fresh peaches, whatever fresh fruit is in season. And then I do melon balls from the watermelon and melon balls from cantaloupe to give it color. And everybody loves that as well. And that's just pure fruit. Every now and then I'll sprinkle a little sugar on it, but most of the time I just use just the fruit in my watermelon bowls. I may make one for y'all one day. I've got one over here, but I don't have time to get it done before the 4th. But one day I'll show y'all one of my watermelon bowls. When my daughter was in driver's ed, she wanted me to make brunch for her driving team. And of course that was many years ago that I made the watermelon bowl and that instructor had never seen one. And honey, I, I just knocked it out of the park that day. Our little brunch table was beautiful with our watermelon fruit bowl in the center and all of the stuff that I had fixed to go with it. So sometimes you make sweet memories by taking that extra little bit of time and making something special. And April was very proud. She was proud for them to come to her house and have that treat and it be pretty. So, I've got all the lids off of this, and I'm going to drain what needs to be drained, and I'm going to put the other in the bowl while we're waiting. Oh, let me look, just a minute. Okay, we need to drain our fruit cocktail. That's my frozen orange juice I have sitting in the bowl. And the mandarin oranges is what you're going to need to drain. The others go in juice and all because you got to have some juice to freeze and make that slush y'all this is really good now I'm going to put most of mine up in quart bags freezing it that way I can bring out just enough for me and Troy or if one of the grandkids wants some I won't be throwing a whole gallon of it out so I'm going to put that in and if you want more red you can add some marchena cherries or buy frozen cherries that are pitted and Costco has those. I just didn't think to get any. Because you know how I like red. Anything red is good. Now this uh, fruit juice is very good to use to make frozen popsicles for your kiddos, grandkids, yourself, or to sweeten your drinks with. Don't throw it away. It's good. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of the fruit in here. This is a can of crushed pineapple. And this is pineapple chunks. And y'all get the recipe. Oh, you don't drain, you don't drain them. What am I doing? Get this thing out of my way. So it won't confuse me. And then you want a large can of sliced peaches. You want two pounds of frozen strawberries. So I'm fixing to go get the frozen strawberries and get it uh, get them in here and I'll go ahead and slice up my bananas I think I can open this up and put some of it into that sugar water that I'm trying to cool down and it will cool it on down a little bit what's so great about this is there's no jello in it frozen fruit of course it's canned fruit you could do make your own fresh fruit mix to go in the syrup and the um, orange juice, but you would have to allow enough liquid that comes out of the cans to have enough for your slush. But it's just, you'll see when you make this, and I hope you try it, it's absolutely fabulous. Went to a family reunion one time, and uh, my first cousin's wife, Sherry, had brought it to the family reunion, and we all just loved it. And so I hounded her till I got the recipe. And I've been making it ever since. And that was probably 30 years ago, 25 years ago. This is an old, proven, delicious recipe. So what I'm going to do now is try to get this open and into my uh, hot mixture here. I poured this over into this to get it out of the hot pan that holds the heat for so long. And this may not work. I might not can get it in there, but if I can. Let me find something that'll reach right down in there that's sturdy. This will. 
I like this spatula. It's made to use with uh, your blender because it'll go down in there and clean what's around the blade. I just need to get that hot water cool because you don't want to pour that hot at all over your fruit. You have to let that cool. And I wouldn't be in such a tizzy to get it done except I've got to get this frozen where I can show y'all what it's like. That cooled it quite a bit. Okay, that's cooled down enough that I can pour the whole thing in here. Not waste any more of it. Now my bowl is a little bit overkill, but I can stir it without it sloshing everywhere, so I like it like that. We go get the strawberries, and then we'll get the bananas cut up in it also, and it'll be ready to uh, bag up and freeze. Okay, I'm going to get my uh, two pounds of strawberries. Now, if you don't think that looks like enough, you can always add more. And they had some that were sliced, but I've always bought the whole ones. Um, you know, your call if you want them sliced. But when they kind of are semi thaw it's nice to get a good old bite of strawberry. Okay, now I need to cut up, put my scissors out of the way. I need to cut up six bananas. And I got these at Walmart, and I like Chiquita bananas. I don't know what these are going to taste like. They're pretty good. And as you're putting your bananas in, give it a stir every little bit because you don't want them turning brown. And get them down under the, the juice and it protects them. That pineapple juice really helps to take care of your bananas. Now I always just slice them. You could half them or whatever you want to do. Oh my goodness. I love this salad. It just gets prettier and prettier as you keep putting stuff in it. And I like pretty. And I pretty well like to eat, too. I like salad. There's a place down at Kingwood called that's 15 miles down the road from us called Chelsea's Deli. And they have the most awesome salads. And you can get a two salad plate or a three salad plate. I like that. That's better than a piece of pizza to me, and I love pizza. Well, some days it's better. Tell the truth, guys, some days I'd rather have pizza. This makes a bunch of salad. So if you've got a big old bunch of people coming, you'll have plenty for everybody. You can put it on your salad bar or on your dessert bar. Either way, it's good. Sometimes we just want a bowl of this for refreshment. You know, give me a bowl of that salad. And, and I'll be honest, there's a few times that I'll pop it in the microwave just long enough to start it to melt into where we can have it sooner. Okay, see I've got everything in there and the uh, bananas are all, I just stir it up real good and it's pretty slushy, but you need that, the liquid, to make the, um, the slush, like I told you. And you like those strawberries that are stuck together, try to unstick them. Now, we're going to bag this up and freeze it. And when it gets, I can, I'm going to go in there every little bit and I'm going to wiggle the bag around. And uh, when it's slushy and everything's good and cold, I'll bring y'all back and show you what it's like. And y'all watch me eat some of it before you go to the store to get the stuff to make yours. Okay, I've got this nifty little bag holder, and I think I ordered mine off of Zulily. You probably can get them off of Amazon, I'm not sure. 
but it sure does help when you're working by yourself and you need to how can I do this where y'all can see what I'm doing can you see better like that maybe and you need to fill it and every bag I try to make sure I get some strawberries in because I want it to be pretty I really could use a pint bag but since I don't have one I'll use this quart Put me a scoop of juice. And that's going to be all I put in this one because I want to be able to lay it down flat to freeze. Try to get all the air out. Okay. See how pretty it is with all the colors in it? It's a wonderful. I just can't stress how, how good it is. But if I were you, I would make this the day before, actually, and um, take it out in time to thaw enough before you're ready to serve it. And that way you're sure that it's slushy and good. Depending on what you serve it in, see, when they get through eating all the goodness here, you can uh, drink that good juice out of there. Well, you can drink out of your bowl if you want to. Because some people say they drink it from their saucer because their cups overflow. Well, drink from your bowl because you want that juice. And I think we're all blessed and drink from our saucer more than we realize. We take a lot for granted. Our house hadn't fell down on us and trapped us underneath till somebody could find us weeks later. We're blessed, folks. So blessed. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, really six and a half quarts. And I'm going to get it all in the freezer and we'll be eating some of it for too long. Okay, y'all, I want to show you, see the ice crystals on it? It is still icy, but it's soft enough when you bite into it that it, it's soft. You can chew it up, mash it with your tongue, whatever you want to do to get it down into your, in your belly. But that's what it looks like. Now, I'm going to show y'all one way uh, to serve it is in the red plastic solo cups. You can get the smaller ones or the large ones. If you're having a barbecue picnic type thing, that's the perfect thing to put it in. Or they make those little, probably eight or ten ounce little clear glasses um, or little serving bowls. They're littler at the bottom and then they flute out a little bit at the top. Those are pretty to put it in too uh, and to have it served. But you're going to want to set it in a bed of ice if you have it outside to keep it frozen. Just a minute, I'm going to get me some in a red Solo cup and eat some of it for you. Okay, see if you had these sitting around your bowl or whatever you want to serve it in. Now let me tell you, the best thing to do is have something smaller. So if people don't, you know, they're pretty well, a lot of people are going to fill up the container that's there. And it's going to be wasted. So if you had like an eight or so ounce little something to put it in. But if you didn't have anything else, these work good for no cleanup. But it's just, mm-mm-mm. It's just right. It's icy, but it's chewable. And let me tell you, on a hot summer day, this is so refreshing. So I want y'all to try it. Let me know what you think about it, because I'm sharing some of my very favorite recipes with y'all. And I want to know that you're using them, that you like it, if you've heard of it before, if you've made it before, if you haven't. And if you tweak it, tell me what you did to it. You could add a little bit of almond flavor to that um, sugar mixture, but I don't. I didn't want to do that. I liked it just like this, and I've never done that, but other people have. So make it your own, but make it, and let me know what you think about it. Hope y'all have a safe and wonderful Fourth of July celebration. We are blessed to live in the United States of America, 
and I pray for our country that God will keep it and keep it a God-fearing country to where we'll have His blessings. Y'all stay safe, enjoy the food, the barbecue, the sandwiches, the hot dogs, the hamburgers, the fireworks, and enjoy your family. God bless you, and God bless America. I wanted to come back on right quick and tell y'all that another way that this is good is for breakfast or brunch. Y'all, this fruit with a piece of buttered toast or a bagel or an English muffin and some crisp fried bacon is heaven on earth. So that's another idea of a way to use the fruit salad besides just with a meal, with barbecue or hamburgers or whatever. It's wonderful with crisp bacon. Just a heads up so y'all know another way to use it. See you soon.